Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I have been extremely busy. I've got 33 minute video, a 45 minute video, and a couple of others that have not yet been uploaded. So tired, so wore out. I've been attacked again, and lots, lots of crazy things have went uh, since the last video. Um, I do want to show everyone something real quick, and I am building my alternating current battery here, um, which I will go ahead and show you guys. Um, very simple, very easy. This is wax paper. Yes, my hands are really dirty. Been working, been working hard. Look at them fingernails. No, oh, they're not so dirty, but yeah. So, anyways. So, I put a piece of uh, wax paper down, then I put a piece of aluminum foil down, and then I put another piece of aluminum foil and taped it down to that. And I put another piece of wax paper down. Nice and separated. And now I have placed another piece of aluminum foil okay i'm gonna go ahead and cut this wax paper off here and just leave it about right in here and that'll look good and then i'll have a connection here and a connection here for the dielectric so what you want to think about is you've got a capacitor right Okay, so you have your connection on this side and your connection on this side. What you want to do is build multi-layers, use a dielectric like Visqueen or something, and hook them together. And that's what I'm doing. So I've got one wire here and one wire here. And I'm going to continue doing this. Um, the next layer will be my center tap. So I may put it here um, it'll probably end up on that side right in the middle here okay. and then I'll have the output of it and I'll take a uh, oh wait here's here, right here I'll take something like this and I'll roll this around it and now I have a very strong capacitor um, that is twice as big as it needs to be because it's well it only has to be 12 inches i want to go vortex based mathematics numbers so i split or doubled the pi which is 11.75 and this is uh 16 and three quarters and and that's just a little off a little different than what it should be um but i believe i'll have massive results with this alternating current capacitor um, so, the video will be of a working device very soon. Now, how about I show you the free energy device that took me nine months to grow. It puts out more energy when you touch it. It puts out twice the amount of energy from this when you touch the glass. So, from one volts to three volts, then grabbing it, you got about... 16 18 20 volts both hands you're about um, about 16 volts with the potential so it's like 19 volts let's go ahead and see it so all right that was just playing around with something all right now there is nothing here nothing touching it and trust me, it, it is, um, it's turning into powder and stuff now, but the crystals and the substructures and how the, how it all grew is just really weird. So you can see the blue crystal in the bottom and it's not, uh, it's not a regular quartz or anything like that. It's, it's copper oxide. Um, a couple other materials, 
like uh, water and uh, pickling salt, a little bit of uh, sodium bicarbonate, baking soda. So I nano coated the copper coils. There's two of them in there, and I'm only hooked to one. So when you guys see this, it's. <laughs> Going to be nice. Yeah, there we go. Click, click, click. This one here. Oh, that's. Yeah. Since I was robbed yesterday and they. Oh, you know, they took my truck and. Oh. Illegally detained me for over three hours and. I stole a bunch of my stuff and messed my wrist up. Yeah, lots of stuff. I think I'll post a video about it. Alright, so. Just as normal. 50% duty cycle. Blah, blah, blah. Zero volts, zero volts. The peak to peak is the same as the dirt outside. Okay, now if you know how to. Really? I don't want to advertise for anyone, so that was not what I meant to be laying there. Anyways, I'm not a professional YouTuber. What I'm doing here is showing you guys how to create your own energy out of different things. Okay. And I'm going to build a big project today. Uh, because I know, I know, as soon as I put this on that machine, <laughs> then I'm going to have some different perspectives coming around so anyways I've got the second layer on there okay, now my third layer can either be the center tap or I can just keep going back and forth and do four, I could do four layers or I could do eight layers or I could do 16 layers um, but I would never try to do like no six six wouldn't work seven would work but you would have to have an output on it uh, let's see here. 10 would work, but that is an odd number. Uh, and it's a higher number, which is multiplied by 5. So, 5 would work, but if you used it, it, like as I said, you'd have to have an output on it. And if you used 10, then you could use the two outputs as just more capacitance. So, you could actually take this capacitor and run this capacitor to more capacitors and say... All right, I have my two connections for this capacitor. Okay, now I build another capacitor, one for the left side and one for the right side. So that capacitor goes here to here, and this line goes up. Capacitor goes here to here, and that line goes up. Now you've got another connection for your capacitor. What do you build with doing that? Um, kind of, I guess it would be kind of like an antenna for energy, if you want to call it that. Um... I am specifically using the aluminum for its partial uh, ferrous properties. It is non-magnetic to a point, but it does uh, static magnetics. So it's it's a uh, and a little bit of regular, you know, magnetics or regular amperage. But anyways, regular resistive. This becomes so much more in just a few minutes so all i'm going to do for this one is four pieces that's two for the left side two for the right side i'm going to join both sides together and i have my two wires coming out you can't solder to aluminum yeah well you can scratch this up scratch it real good and put some flux paste on it and then put some solder on there or you can just take a piece of copper wire and set it on here. When you put another piece of wood on top of this and press it together, all the connections will be made. You will see that here in just a second. Or, I guess now. And next layer. Okay. 
Now, when I get to the end of this, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, when I screw them together, I'm going to put some wire here and some wire here. And I'm going to set the other piece of wood on top of this. And I'm going to screw all the plates together. That'll make my connections. That will flatten everything out. And make sure that nothing moves around. Let's go ahead and get that done. And the next video you will see a simple motor controller from a simple power source where you store the energy and use it for things you need and things you have to have. So I say to you, join me on this fight because if if we don't do this together, I mean, what, you're going to worry about the 5G, you're going to worry about all of this other stuff, but you're not going to worry about food and water. Um, not a good idea. So, I love you guys. Um, got some very interesting videos. I, I just, I'm trying to get them uploaded and it just takes so long to upload and edit everything. But I love you guys and I'll see you soon.